What is up YouTube? N64 Fun Time coming back at you today. It's been a long time since I've done a video and I realize the acoustics in this room is probably really bad. Um, we're in the process of moving so my little gaming uh, center has been torn down and boxed away. So sad. But uh, hopefully in our new house we'll be able to uh, have another little setup like I did before. But I have uh, my Nintendo Labo uh, set up right now. I w bought it, uh, the VR Labo. Um, I don't know, I, I kind of got excited about this one and I've always wanted to get a Labo kit mainly because it's basically like Legos, like you're sitting there and you're building something and I wanted to actually give that a shot and I was actually excited for this one because, you know, not only do you get to sit and build something but you also have this VR. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty skeptical about VR. It's not my favorite thing in the entire world, but for the $40 price tag this has, with being able to build, it's like, why not try it out? Um, a few reviews that I was seeing online prior to its release were really good, so it's like, why not try it out? It's 40 bucks, I'll give it a shot. Um, so I just wanted to talk about a few things, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, real quick about this. So I did have a really good time building it. Um, the process was very easy. It was actually quite funny. You put in the cartridge and it basically walks you through the steps. The commentary as you're going through it actually keeps it fun and it's pretty funny. Um, I'm sure if you built one of these before, you can kind of knock this out just in it within you know a handful of minutes. It probably took me maybe two hours to do absolutely everything here. Um, the headset was around 20 minutes and then the blaster itself took a little bit longer, but it's pretty complex. Uh, there's quite a few pieces inside on top of just the actual blaster. Um, and I gotta say the build quality is much more sturdy than I thought. Uh, the Labo products were going to be just in general, you're really reinforcing a lot of pieces that you think would be weak. Um, so I was really impressed just with the build uh, function of this and how well this stuff actually works and manipulates and placing the Joy-Cons and how the Joy-Cons work. It just, it really is a good time. It's, it's very impressive of a process and the engineers who actually came up step by step to actually build this stuff just absolutely blows my mind. So I'm really excited about Labo. I hope they actually continue with the Labo products. They may support them just a little bit more now that I had so much fun with this VR kit, just building it um, and how well it actually works. And it just, I really respect, respect the process of who engineers this stuff. Cause it's really complex for just being cardboard. Um, now this is the VR headset. This is uh, the very first thing that you build again it's very sturdy like you can grab this and it doesn't necessarily feel like cardboard and your switch basically just goes uh, right in here it locks in um, you can actually play all the games on here not in vr mode you actually have to physically press a button to put it in vr mode uh, and then put it in your headset here um, yeah it's weird because it seems really cheap but it's, it's really not it functions really well compared to some of the uh, cheap phone VR stuff that I played with before. It's really on par with that, if not even better, because I think that Nintendo really like um, makes their graphics a little more cartoony, and I think that's a little more forgiving, forgiving when it comes to, um, you know, kind of not as good VR, you know, the resolution isn't as high. So it makes up for all of that with, you know, how well these games are, kind of a little bit more cartoony. Um, so it works extremely well. The VR games are fun. Um, and you know, the blaster uh, is actually works really well and it's extremely fun as well. It's unbelievably responsive. Like I was very surprised because especially with the blaster, it's like one for one tracking with just the switch. Like when you're moving up and down, um, in the game you have like a third person view of your blaster and like if you slowly just push these buttons or you know co are cocking stuff back it will track it and the the speed is tracked um you know your gun changes based on if it's uh, cocked or not and it's I, it's it's just crazy how well this works and how good it looks um 
And with the VR headset, the one thing that I am the most impressed with was the two speakers in front here, when you're building this, you can actually see that they have separate holes uh, for the audio. And the way that it comes out and the way they built this, um, you, you're not, you can't have headphones with this in. I don't think it gives you space for that. Um, but at, the way they built it and the way the sound comes out, it feels stereo like you're wearing headphones. It's crazy. I don't know how they did it, um, but just the way they built this, it really, like the audio is crazy. It's like in your face, in your ears like in the middle of your head, just like you would be wearing uh, headphones. And, and like I said, it's, it's little details like that that just not only make this fun, but makes it good. It makes it work well. Um, you know, and it, it's just crazy how you look at this and you would think, man, this is so cheap, but it's really not. It works really well. Um, this is $40. Get it. There's so many games. It comes with a blaster. Um, the other one is a little bit more expensive, I believe. The other one is like $80, so it's double the price. But from what I've been hearing on the internet is the, the Flappy Bird thing is probably the most enjoyable uh, little VR experience. Now, they are gonna be releasing those later as like separate kits, so I may actually pick that one up because I had so much fun building this and because I've been enjoying the VR so much. So. I don't know, I just wanted to actually like take time to make a very short video in my kitchen with terrible acoustics to tell you guys that this is worth $40. Um, I wouldn't endorse, a, not, not that I'm endorsing something, but I wouldn't like make a video and just like lie about it and I, I, I wanna give my honest opinion about it. Like this is worth $40, absolutely, 100%. It was so much fun to build. Um, and I kind of have that mentality. I like the Legos and stuff like that. So just like building it as quick as I can to play the games, that wasn't what I was about. I actually enjoyed the building process. And that to me is, is half the fun of this Labo. And this is half the fun. That's like the reason why I want to buy more because I want to build more of this stuff because I respect it so much because so much went into this. So I yeah, I don't know what else to say. I feel like I ranted um, a little bit, but like get this. It is awesome, it is worth it, especially if you already have a Switch, um, and you you have Mario, and you have Zelda, the updates coming up for VR, it's like, why not try it out for 40 bucks? Um, I'm sure that somebody is going to make a standalone VR headset that's not cardboard. I'm, I'm positive that somebody's gonna make one with a strap. Um, so this actual VR thing that fits into these games, I'm pretty sure this is going to get an upgrade somewhere and not be cardboard. Um, it's just, it just has to. This is gonna be popular enough to where somebody's gonna do that. So there you go, my quick thoughts that turned into probably long thoughts and ranting, but get it, it's awesome. Check it out, worth 40 bucks. So there you go, I hope you had fun, I hope you buy this. Uh, until next time, it may be a while, like I said, I'm moving, but until next time, be nice, stay positive, always be gaming.